Hi guys and welcome back to my video. It's anti-gorgeous and I'm going to show you guys how to clean your makeup brushes at home with home products. You don't have to go out and buy a brush cleaner. So these are some of the things you're going to need. You're going to need like a little bowl to mix everything in with. You're going to need like a mild conditioner. Um, you're going to need Dawn soap specifically and you're going to need either coconut oil or olive oil but for this video I'm going to be using the organic coconut oil. Now the first thing that I do is I add my soap. The soap will be the main ingredient. As you guys can see, I don't have a lot because a little goes a long way. Dawn soap is really, really good for cleaning my brushes because they get all of that oil out. And then I put a little squirt of conditioner in there just to help with the softness of my brushes. Whether you have real hair or synthetic hair, this is going to keep your brushes nice and soft. Now I'm going to add a little coconut oil in there just to help break down some of that concealer that I have on some of my brushes just a little bit and then you're gonna mix it on up mix it on up and then it should look like a little white consistency as you guys see right here now for this video I'm going to be using the NYX on the spot like brush cleaning pad I used to be one of those girls who cleaned her makeup brushes with her hands but I found that that is not sanitary and it wasn't really cleaning my brushes. I was having a really hard time. So getting and investing in one of these little brush pads is a must. Now, something that you guys need to remember is your water should not be hot. It should not be warm. It should be more on the cool side. Now, when you're rinsing your brushes, you want to make sure that you keep the brush downward. You never want to get water inside of your brush handle because that breaks down the glue that holds your bristles together and your brush is going to fall apart if you do that so again you want to use cool water and you want to make sure that you keep your brushes down where you don't want anything to get up in there so once you rinse it off and you dip into the little concoction that we made you want to swirl it around on that pad and you want to rinse this brush clean until you don't see any more soap um that's why you guys see me squeezing it i'm making sure that i don't see any um, soap residue and then that's a clean brush now another thing you guys a little goes a long way like I said before I normally use two brushes at a time because I don't like standing at the sink for a very long time I get really impatient and it takes me about an hour to clean my brushes but you want to just lightly dip the tip of your brushes in there you don't want to get the whole bristle um, saturated in this soap because you're going to be rinsing your brushes out for hours like for hours and you're going to get irritated so make sure that you just put a little on a brush and then just soap it right up and um, I'm going to continue to do this step over and over again until all of my brushes are clean now I do have to say that my eyeshadow brushes when I use like pinks and reds it stains my brushes um so I go in twice to try to get as much color off as possible but these bristles are white and they're already stained that, does, that doesn't mean that they're not clean um, they're just staying from the eyeshadow um, and I haven't figured out how to really get them back white now this is what I'm talking about these are my concealer brushes and I go in twice when I'm cleaning these I go in one time just to break down all the concealer and then I go back in another time to make sure that I get those brushes really really clean and as you guys can see it's no concealer left so now that our brushes are clean, you don't want to forget the handles. This is an old little setting spray bottle that I had. I mixed it with half alcohol and half water, and I'm going to use this to clean my brush handles with. I think a lot of times people forget that your handles are a part of your brush too, and they get dirty too. You don't want to have any bacteria left on this brush after you're cleaning it because if you clean the bristles and you don't clean the handles it's really no point of even cleaning your brushes but as you guys can see this brush handles have a little makeup left over it so you don't want to wear last week's makeup today so make sure you give your handles a good cleaning and each one that I'm cleaning I'm setting it to the side and I'm putting it on the opposite side of the row that I didn't do just so I won't get them mixed up but yeah, cleaning your handles and the whole entire brush as a whole is very, very important. It's important, you guys. Now that all of our brushes are clean, if you don't want to wait for them to dry, you can do this method, which is rubbing them against a dry towel. I'm going to allow my brushes to dry for 24 hours, but if you're impatient, you can do this. And that is basically it for this whole entire video. I hope it was helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay every day. Bye, guys.